All right, getting ready to go. Looks like one card, one in the bottom for Andrew, and a fetch for Eric. So we're getting a quick glance at Eric's deck here. We see crashing rhinos, crashing footfalls, whatever, whatever. The rhino card. Um, that's the main game plan here. As far as I know. I have not watched this yet. So I'm experiencing with all of you for the first time, to be honest. I did not play against Eric at this event either. Suspending crashing footfalls on turn one is Eric. Forest pass. Footfalls goes down to three. And a fetch now for Andrew. Cracking averting catacombs. Finds a snow covered forest. Very nice. And winding way. Looks like Despian stage, wasteland, and I missed what the other card was. Crop rotation goes into the graveyard. So Eric is now aware of what he's up against here. Yavamaya gets discarded to hand size. Crashing footfalls triggers again. Down to two. No other play so far for Eric. Mulch. Mulch just reprinted in Crimson Vow. Glacial Chasm. Horizon Canopy, Field of the Dead, and Mana Bond put into the graveyard. There's Wasteland. It's pretty good. I think we're going to see that get used here. Yep. The glacial... The... Oh, what happened here? Okay, so using a floated mana and exiling a Simeon Spirit Guide and an Elvish Spirit Guide to cast Violent Outburst and your ca Cascade Trigger. Let's see what happens. So far, nothing. Seeing some Fire and Ice, Endurance, Brazen Borrower, Force of Negation, and a Crashing Footfall. So two Rhinos getting created here, most likely. Assuming this resolves, I don't think eight mulch is any way to stop that. Well, let's see what Eric's token situation looks like. Um, I feel a little anxiety here. Are those the correct rhinos? Hmm. Uh, um. Swing with the team, so one of them gets the camera. Uh, I don't know. Wendy making a great point in the chat. Speaking of unset controversy from earlier, at least every time they come out, they have some amazing fancy basics. I think that's something the entire community can agree upon. Yes, and Unfinity will have some shock lands as well we know with uh some outer space art that looks awesome 
All right, here's a scalding tarn for Eric, who's crashing footfalls in suspend, is now at one. Andrew has to start building up some some kind of a board, or this game's going to be over fast. Okay, I do. Play with Haster now. Basil Chasm is an option. I keep saying chasm. <laughs> Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Lewis says, agreed, I love the Unfinity Outer Space Basics. They spoil, they are gorgeous. I agree. The basics and shock lands of uh, Unfinity are looking promising so far. Crop rotation happening. Force pitching force on the crop rotation, leaving Andrew looking a little bit sad at the moment. And Glacial Chasm comes comes down and discards a snow-covered forest. And crashing footfalls getting cast. Attacking for eight. Takes no damage. Cumulative. Cumulative. Wow, I can't pronounce anything. Cu cumulative. <laughs> Here's Winding Way. Yavamaya allowing for that. Savannah and Thespian stage to hand. So four rhinos, all can't do any damage currently. But the age counters on the glacial card are adding up with the upkeep cost. Thespian stage copies glacial card. And passes the turn. Pass back to you. A resource. Right, so the Thespian stage copy sticks around. Gets its first age counter. And looks like Andrew is almost out of time. Expiration. Yeah, I, th I think it was correct to maybe better to copy uh, with the upkeep trigger on the stack this turn. So um, Andrew would not have had to pay two life, but I, I wasn't sure if there was another reason why the mana needed to be available, but it looks like the answer is no. So I'm not sure. Haru says it was just a fail safe for a wasteland. Okay, that that's that's a fair point, I guess. All right, so now making a copy. And then drawing. Okay. So this time did it the way that uh Twitch chat recommended. Gift sub leader, leaderboard number three, Dave Kaplan, says Wizards of the Coast did a strategic market analysis and identified an underserved demographic in the age two to four group, and now we have stickers. That is exactly, exactly what is happening. Well said. What's up, Dave? <laughs> wow, somebody's really laughing in the background. A little bit, a little bit, um, 
poor etiquette to laugh at a legacy tournament, but what are you going to do about it? I mean, I just don't think that Richard Garfield would think that a legacy tournament is funny in any way. Another violin outburst happening, exiling a spirit guide. He might be here for a minute. Ancestral Visions, okay. I wasn't sure if that was on the deck when we were talking about the deck earlier, so. Draw three. Pretty good. Okay. Expiration's good. Expiration resolves. Sacrificing the Horizon Canopy. Maybe trying to find another stage. Plays Savannah. Pays Poseju. Tapping two. Looking at the graveyard. Hmm. Winding way, okay. Found a field of the dead, but only four types currently in on the battlefield. So maybe Andrew has a crop rotation. Sage you on the thespian stage ends the game. There we go. All right. Cascade gets game one. All right, there's a turn one mana bond. It resolves. Eric says, I'm not going to counter it. I might have a game at all. I think it's over. He's the best team. Prismatic Vista pass. There's a ghost quarter, and there's the stronghold mulch. Wow. Throws an expiration and Thalia into the graveyard. Thalia's interesting. Not going to use the mana bond ability just yet. Force of Vigor pitching. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see what the green card was, but blowing up mana bond. If anybody figures out what card that was, let us know. Here is an island. Prismatic Vista fetching. Likely going to be enjoying two basics in play against eight mulch. Ghost Quarter can hit basics, though. Adam Combat suggesting 12 mulch with Treasure Hunt. Yeah, let us know how that goes. Exiling a spirit guide, and here's Blood Moon. Oof. Ouch. 
All right, so two mountains on Andrew's side. Ouch. Needs a way to remove Blood Moon. We know Andrew has Basaju in the deck. I'm assuming Force of Vigors and whatnot may have been sided in. Needs a green mana for Basaju, though, currently. Another mountain. Yeah. All right, another mountain. There's a Basaju for Eric, which came in handy last game. Andrew plays a Field of the Dead, just has five mountains on the battlefield currently. Basic Forest for Eric, I bet. Andrew is a little bit jealous of that. Here's Shardless Agent. And it immediately hits a Crashing Footfalls right off the top. Second Field of the Dead pass. Queen S says Beseju is in hand for Andrew right now. I didn't see it, but it seems like a possibility. Attacking for 10, though, only one le turn left. Andrew needs a basic forest. Couldn't find the basic forest. Beseju was in hand, though. You were right. 